Thought I'd do another greenhouse update video. It is the 19th of April. Um, a hibiscus tree in the greenhouse. It really likes it in here. Um, just set him in here and been watering him. But uh, down at the far end, that's bed number three, bed number two, the fish tank, that first bed. Flowers, the strawberries are, uh, you can see they're sending out the runners and uh, I picked them all twice now and they just keep dropping green strawberries over the side and they ripen and I pick them again. So that's working out really well um might have should have done a couple more tubes of those and still may um so anyway bed number three tomato plant as you can see they're just going crazy uh i've been cutting leaves off of them and branches trying to kind of get them to grow the way i want in the direction i want and they're still just that full um, here's the uh, squash plant and the peppers are getting ready to bloom uh, cucumber the eggplant the little eggplant that I had there's the um, one of the bigger tomatoes that one the blooms aren't setting I don't really know why the rest of them most of the blooms are all setting tomatoes you can see down in there tomatoes coming on there's blooms uh, right there setting so I don't know why that one back there acts the way it does um, I'm not treating it any differently this was that spindly tomato plant that was about this tall in the last video. Now he's still spindly and that tall. Um, gonna have to stake this tomato now. There is uh, another zucchini squash, or is what I believe that one to be back there. Um, tomato plant. Another round of blooms coming on that one. There's the first round of blooms. Uh, setting tomatoes on tomato plant there and it's got tomatoes all up underneath it uh, tomato here blooming these were just those little tiny ones that I had put in here they were like down here about this tall the last video and they are clear up here that little tiny mint plant that was down here is not little tiny anymore uh, there's a strawberry plant that we had thrown in this bed. These are um, spring peas that I had scattered some seed in here. And the seeds there by the nozzle took off. And so that's just scattered seed. Um, same over here in this bed. Uh, green beans and peas. I just scattered the seed in here and wiggled the rocks around with my hand and there's more tomatoes too there so they took off doing what they're supposed to here's the fish tank had a little algae going in it I have since sped my um, cycle up and putting more water in and more water out of it and it's cleaning up nicely it's really the water is pretty clear now the uh, the sides of the tank have some algae on them I need a Plocostomus if somebody's got a aquarium and your Plocostomus is way too big uh, I got a place for him he can go in the fish tank or he can go down here in the sump tank uh, either one and here's bed number one Little tiny tomato plant was in here. It's huge. Lettuce is doing well. Tomato plants, strawberries, they're happy. 
There's some uh, seed that I scattered in here and I can't remember what it is. Peppers are blooming. Another tomato plant. This bed was kind of stunted and behind and it's not anymore. So it's catching up to uh, everything else. Still don't know why it behaved the way it did, but I think it's well on this way to catching all the other beds. And there's my box with the fan in it. It's got a duct that I made there on the front of it. My tube's going in. It blows really cool 52 degree air. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've got to get it on a switch where when it gets too hot in here, it'll just kick on on its own. Look at the flowers. They are happy and doing well. Um, beds two, bed three. Strawberries up here, little hibiscus tree down there. Anyway, there's an update.